What makes a city dirty? Today we discover the 11 dirtiest cities in the world, and I'm sure that the second place will be a tremendous surprise for you. But allow me a few seconds for a personal story on the subject of dirty cities. Until I turned 21, I lived in a town where the air smelled like orange cake. We had some fruit processing plants around. Then I moved to a huge metropolis. Every day on my way back from work, I used to take a road close to a river that smelled like sewage and probably had some illegal sewage discharge on it. The streets had rats, and I never saw an urban rat in my life until I moved there, and the air was so dirty during the winter after a day out, you could rub a white napkin in your hair, and the napkin would turn grey. My lungs are glad that I don't live there anymore. And that's why we came to this subject. Using criteria that measure air and water quality plus sewage treatment, my team at the expat compiled this list of the dirtiest cities in the world. This is not the first time we have published a polemical ranking. For others, check out some of our videos. This, however, promises to be our most surprising rank ever. But first, the criteria. First, only one city per country. We didn't want to make uh, an uninteresting list. So this first criteria may surprise you. However, here is our point. We didn't want an entire ranking only with cities from India, China and Pakistan. Second, Air Quality Index, AQI. The AQI Air Quality Index measure, among others, the harmful PM2.5 concentration. Fine particular matter, PM2.5, is a form of pollution in the air that can be harmful to people's health during prolonged exposures. Unsafe drinking water, EPI score. This indicator was measured on the national level for the Environmental Performance Index, compiled by Yale and Columbia Universities on a national level. They measure the harm caused by unsafe drinking water. The fourth, wastewater treatment. Sewage treatment in this case includes managing human waste and solid, often industrial waste. Now you know the criteria, but before we begin the top 11, I would like to ask a small favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. The 11 dirtiest cities in the world. 11th, Krasnoyarsk, Russia. The main reason for pollution in Krasnoyarsk is the location relatively near major industrial centers like Norilsk. Krasnoyarsk is one of the largest cities in Russia, with a population of 1 million people. Surprisingly, despite Russia being a major gas exporter, Krasnoyarsk is not connected to the Russian gas pipeline system, so often people resort to burning trash to keep warm during winter. The third reason is the little enforcement of environmental laws, a common factor in almost all cities listed on this video. The air quality index of Krasnoyarsk is 49.8 micrograms per cubic meter, almost 10 times higher than the maximum recommended of 5 micrograms per cubic meter. Regarding sewage treatment percentage, the data for Krasnoyarsk specifically was not available, but in Russia, Less than 45% of the sewage is connected to treatment stations. Since Krasnoyarsk is a remote region, one could expect this number to be even smaller. 10th, Kathmandu, Nepal. Kathmandu has no proper disposal system for garbage. Garbage piles up on the streets and sometimes it gets burned by the people living nearby. On top of that, people throw their waste into rivers and lakes without realizing that they are harming nature and their own environment by doing so. The lack of proper waste management systems lead to clogged drains, overflowing sewage lines, and now of which result in flooding during the monsoon season. The air quality index is more than 10 times higher than the maximum recommended levels of pollution. An unsafe drinking water EPI score is 25.9, which means a meager 131 place among the 180 countries counted. Sewage treatment percentage, according to IGCRT, is less than 7%. The next is Port Harcourt in Nigeria. Port Harcourt has experienced an exponential surge in occurrences of respiratory illnesses, attributable mostly to illicit crude refining in various regions of the city. The sky frequently becomes black, not from rain clouds, but from rising black dust from hydrocarbon pollution which quickly covers all exposed surfaces, as in inhaled by innocent citizens. The levels of pollution are also more than 10 times above the maximum recommended, and the unsafe drinking water score 
is among the worst in the world. Sewage treatment? Zero. So far, there are no wastewater treatment plants in Port Harcourt. In 8th place, Dushanbe, Tajikistan. Dushanbe has a high concentration of polluting enterprises, including cement and coal power plants, as well as local factories and waste burning facilities. Coal is used as a raw material in the generation of energy by many urban industries. The air pollution is 12 times higher than the maximum recommended, and only 13.4% of the sewage is treated. In seventh place, Osh, in Kyrgyzstan. In Osh, mining close to the city emits PM10, PM2.5, heavy metals, and other harmful substances. The air pollution is 12 times higher than the recommended, and only 19.3% of household wastewater is treated. Sixth in place, Karaganda, Kazakhstan. Karaganda is close to Temirtau, Kazakhstan Iron Industry Hub, and home to the country's largest steel production plant, Karaganda Metallurgical Combine. The city's industrial pollution is so bad that occurrences of black snow have been documented. Many people there believe that the metallurgical complex is to blame for the black snow, and air pollution is 15 times higher than the recommended. 50 place, N'Djamena, in Chad. N'Djamena has problems with heavy metal pollutants discharged in the Chadi River. Besides, Chad's capital city has seen a fast population increase and a decrease in water supplies in recent years, without sanitation keeping the same pace as the number of inhabitants surges. Fourth place, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Brick kilns, exhaust fumes from automobiles, and dust from construction sites are identified as the three primary contributors to air pollution in Dhaka. The pollution in the air is 16 times higher than the maximum recommended, and only 17% of the wastewater is treated. Now the podium and the third place for Faisalabad, in Pakistan. Faisalabad is the third largest city in Pakistan and is growing both economically and in terms of population. Because it's in the middle of the country, it's a major industrial and distribution hub. There are also a lot of factories and textile mills in the city, as well as thousands of brick kilns, many of which use dirty fuels and are not regulated by the same rules as the rest of the city. The level of air pollution is almost 19 times higher than the maximum recommended, and only 20% of the wastewater is treated. Second place, Hotan, in China. Hotan is a town in the Chinese province of Xinjiang, in an area with strong Uyghur presence. However, Hotan proximity to the Takla Makan, the world's biggest shifting sand desert, exposes it to frequent sandstorms, which add to the contaminants in the air causing the quality to deteriorate. As a result, desert sand is the primary culprit. But industry in and around Hotan, Kashgar, Aksu and other southern Xinjiang cities is fast expanding and its environmental impact is not strictly monitored. Toxins are released in the surrounding atmosphere as a result of the area's exponential industrial growth, which affects the residents. The air quality index of the city is above 100, meaning that more than 20 times higher than the maximum recommended for air pollution. And now time to answer the question we have been waiting for. What is the dirtiest city in the world? And the dirtiest city in the world is Ghaziabad, in India. The main source of air pollution in Ghaziabad are vehicular emissions, road dust, construction and demolition operations, industries, garbage burning, agricultural and waste burning, and so on. Ghaziabad is an old city that is growing increasingly crowded as residents from various regions of Uttar Pradesh continue to flock there. Because there is no good public transportation in the city, individuals rely on their own vehicles, causing horrific traffic jams. Ghaziabad also contains numerous small and major industries, many of which do not adequately dispose of their residues. The air quality index is more than 20 times higher than the maximum recommended, and the unsafe drinking water score put it among the 141st place among the 180 countries measured. Sewage treatment, well, the state where the city is located, Uttar Pradesh, treats only 37.2% of the wastewater. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe to our channel for the next ones.